hello there how are you i hope all is well and everything is absolutely amazing on your end welcome back on my channel you're listening to live channelings once again and i am back with a new channeling update for all of you this channeling is actually important for all of those uh, amazing souls having a spiritual soul connection to deal with or are struggling with a spiritual soul connection where they're having to face challenges and obstacles in the form of social evils coming into picture or being brought into the picture by those involved in their connection directly or indirectly okay these social evils are named as racism casteism religious differences discrimination hatred spread on the basis of difference between one's background skin color status class creed nationality language ethnicity structure and the size of houses or the house they live in property and financial safety or security or the accumulation of wealth one has name it whatever you can okay i gave you a few examples here there are many more as such which you are having to face as challenges or obstacles on your journey to overcome and pass through okay these are just few there can be many like toxic masculinity or even femininity where these fake feminists are into the picture where there is toxic masculinity being spread by people to add negativity in your life or in your connection where there are really really evil people into the picture affecting your life or your connection in a really negative manner or way where uh, your counterparts own ego pride and arrogance is or has turned out to be a real enemy for your connection at the moment or has been a real enemy for your connection since a long period of time now it could be this uh, belief system people carry where they mindlessly start to target women or their sons or daughters significant other or love interest in a negative manner it's just a belief system it's a mindset people carry especially people who are associated with mans or boys either through blood or through friendships these people start to believe as if they are superior and kind of better than the person being talked about or is targeted and that's when all the abuse starts that's when all the hatred all the negativity all the manipulation all the trickery treachery everything comes up on the surface okay as i'm saying this is a general collective channeling so there might be many other issues that i'm not covering up in this channeling but you can still take this channeling as i said you are dealing with or are facing social evils blocking your connection at the moment or uh, causing really challenging situations for you to deal with at this point of time so to address these issues yes one more issue was there it could be coming from your counterpart's friend circle which is targeting you for no reason even their family could also be involved so can be yours these people you guys are associated with whether they are connected with you or your counterpart this issue is called mindlessness there is a difference between a wise and an unwise person and that difference is that of living 
mindfully those arrogant rigid way too proud and egotistical people simply reject the idea of living mindfully and on the other hand those who are pure at heart who are wise who believe in equality and unconditional love to be spread all across the world they focus and choose to live mindfully and this actually can be taken into the picture with much significance and importance to be pointed out that this might actually be causing all those other social issues as well indirectly or directly in some way shape or form what i'm trying to say here is that anyone and everyone here involved or affecting your connection in a negative way or is just blocking this connection from coming into fruition or you know serving its purpose its higher bigger purpose which actually just simply is of eliminating these social evils once and for all and bring in the purest form of energy and vibrations that is of unconditional love into everyone's hearts they choose to live mindlessly if you are ever going to go to them and speak to them in a way that talks about bringing healing taking care of others giving importance to others emotions and lives the arrogant one is going to say i don't care and i don't think that much simply straight away because their problem is that they think they do not need to change and there is nothing that needs to be changed within them they don't care if what they are doing is positive or negative let alone right or wrong because an abuser especially if you are ever going to watch or hear a criminals interview anywhere in the world you can clearly see the arrogance and this ego being out into the face in the way that person is going to talk coming from their body language and the reasons they are going to give as justifications for whatever they did so these people who are blocking your connection at the moment that's their issue but what's the point of this channeling why it's being given to you when someone else is the blockage when someone else needs to hear these messages and these channelings they are not listening to these messages a lot of them are not some of them may those who stalk you and those who keep an eye on you as to see what you're doing in your life and then spread gossip about you or talk about you behind your back defame you and call you stupid or you know just delusional the way they want others to perceive of you they may listen but at the same time a lot of them won't care so what's the point of giving you this channeling divine is just letting you know here that they are very well aware of what they have given you to face and overcome here and they are also letting you know that it's not your job to face these challenges and obstacles all alone it's not just your fight here all you can do here is that pick your battles wisely stay away from toxic people as much as you can including your own counterpart if it has become clear for you that they as well have become a toxic negative influence in your life you remove them from the pedestal you kept them on to or have placed them longer than needed because it was never needed it's not actually your mistake but at the same time it is okay this understanding of unconditional love actually gets twisted when people think that they have to enable or ignore abuse that's not what it means okay that's not what it means your counterpart is making the exact same mistake when you placed them on a pedestal they placed those other toxic individuals on pedestal who are actually blocking their growth who are actually blocking them from being their real true authentic self they don't see the negativity and toxicity and all the abuse they create and spread 
because they are their friends and family members and they think that they need to love them unconditionally no one here realizes or even understands what unconditional love actually means you are being taught that you learn that as you move forward on your spiritual journey as you deal with triggers and learn these soul lessons of yours all along you are the one who's going to teach them what actually unconditional love means any stupid individual any so called well educated illiterate having a diploma or degree in their hands and still talking about or bringing someone's race color surname ethnicity background language height weight status class or anything you can call off into the discussion to create a difference or you know perceive as a blockage is just a well educated illiterate is just a mindless individual and is just someone who's promoting a social evil or is just being the same these are the things which need to be addressed the point here of this channeling is that you cannot teach people those who do not want to learn or are not willing to all you can do here is that surrender all your worries doubts fears and apprehensions and give it all to almighty because these people are going to be dealt with appropriately all you have to do here is to live your life as a positive example and focus on your life purpose which actually involves addressing these issues and working on either bringing awareness for those who need it or want it or are going to receive it and then bring healing when and where needed as per your capacity whether big or small doesn't matter because it's going to make a difference and that difference is what matters the most look at the bigger picture here universe your divine team of your loving guides angels and ascended masters and the almighty is just suggesting you guiding you to simply focus on your life purpose remain true and authentic to your calling and to your inner self because you're not crazy you're not lost you are not delusional you are not insane you are not stupid they are that's the truth they cannot handle and digest or accept and that's why they are ruled by their own ego pride and arrogance it's their issue which almighty is going to shatter eliminate or take away they are creating their karma by pointing fingers at you or by actually trying to block this connection which has a very bigger purpose and that karma is actually going to put them into their places when and where needed in divine timing okay it's just not coming from one person okay there are many different people there are many different situations circumstances and challenges you're dealing with so you cannot single handedly remove all of it all at once you need divine's help you need divine assistance guidance support healing and actually miracles these miracles can only happen and take place when you let go and release and choose to pick your battles very very wisely as well as your opponents because you need not choose anyone here as your opponents no one is your opponent here they think that you are their opponent and they need to defeat you they think that you are the one who needs to be put into their places but actually it's all a divine play going on here you are the leader you are the main lead of this whole divine play and universe is going to create everything the way in which it needs to get created and orchestrated for the highest good of all involved 
that's why universe is asking you to look at the bigger picture and let go of these uh, issues problems or anything that is out of your control you only need to focus on your purpose that's it surrender and focus on your purpose because almighty is going to deal with them you don't have to you just have to remain true to yourself not let their perceptions or their negativity or hatred let you doubt on your own inner divinity and your calling in life choose to remain true to your own self and continue to walk on your spiritual path i am not saying hold on to your counterpart these are two different things you need to let go of your counterpart as i said if it has become clear to you that they are not on the same page they are not willing to learn anything if they are not even ready to realize the kind of plunderous mistakes they have made you got to let them go and release them from your energy rest divine is going to take care of you don't have to do it so overall the guidance for you coming from this channel message or this channeling is that make your life purpose the love of your life not your counterpart let them go let them do whatever they want to don't even look at them don't attach them with this connection this connection has its own things to focus upon okay i'm not saying that you shun or shut your counterpart down but first look at the kind of energy they bring into your life and the influence they've got if they are being really really negative hostile and rude or rigid with you then it's better that you remove them from your life for your own good for your own sake and focus on your higher purpose because if you're not going to focus on your higher purpose things are going to get even more worse for you to deal with you already are dealing with so many things and i don't think that you want another heap of challenges to be added on to that so i'll just repeat what i already said if you are dealing with insurmountable challenges and obstacles which actually are the real social evils of this planet then divine simply is asking you to let go of your worries pick your battles wisely don't try to teach them what they are not willing to learn those who are involved including your counterpart focus only on your purpose in life and that which you are here to fulfill believe that you are going to win in the end and live your life as a positive example not letting anyone make you feel less than anyone in this world you are equally lovable given you are here to serve humanity because the people who are not serving humanity think the same way it's just they are projecting their own negativity and you are projecting it positively if you understood you understood if you didn't then listen to this whole channeling once again okay this connection is given to you to clear these issues out not get frustrated by them or burdened by them get my point okay so this was your channeling update i hope this is useful and beneficial to you if so let me know in the comment section below feel free to hit the like button and do subscribe this channel for more such content to be readily available for you on a regular basis that's all for now i'll be back again till that time please take care of yourself and your loved ones bye bye